You guys, welcome to a new vlog. As all of the Christmas decorations have been coming down, I've been rearranging things and organizing things, so I thought I would start by showing you what I've changed in the living room, and then hopefully the rest of this week we can do a little more organizing so that we're starting the new year off with a clean slate and hopefully it inspires you guys to do the same at your house. I wanted to show you the living room situation that I've been working on. So none of this has really changed other than the lamp that was here is now in the bedroom and I'm waiting to get a specific lamp to put there when I can get it. And then I have these two chairs here as like a placeholder. Um, I need something that isn't like a dining chair. I mean, they work for now, um, but that was always the intent to have two smaller sort of chairs to put here it's just i can't really find anything a lot of chairs are too big and it needs to be kind of around or under 28 inches wide and i also don't want it to be too tall because it blocks the view into the dining room which is incredibly messy right now and then i have the table that used to be the entry and i really like it here because you could pull this chair around and use it as like a desk so I'm really loving that, but of course that makes the entry a bit of a whole other situation because we have nothing here now. So for now I put those two little ottomans. I put a blanket just so you can't see the split. And I don't like when these mirrors are just floating and they're not sitting on something. I think the base, because it's like this, it's flat, I think it should be sitting on something or look like it's sitting on something. So I'm not super happy about that, but I've always been a little bit unhappy with the entry. So I'm hoping that in time we will find something that's perfect for here. But until then, ideally I'd love to find an old wooden dresser that is quite shallow because this isn't the widest of hallways. So it needs to be probably under 18 inches, which is hard to come by. So that's what we're thinking for that. I've been wanting one of these USB laters for a while and I saw someone talking about it on Instagram so I decided to just order one. So it's chargeable by USB so you can recharge it and can light candles and a bunch of other things but let me show you how it looks. It has like this little flame thingy right here on the end. I guess it's not a flame, it's like an electric charge and it actually can light a candle. Isn't that so cool? Well, we came to check it out. Oops, watch out. I'm gonna show you some faux greenery that I got from Amazon. I feel like I've been eyeing this for quite a while, but decided after Christmas to use a little Christmas money to treat myself to this faux greenery. I feel like it looks pretty realistic, even in real life, look at that. Um, mostly like the, this is what I'm talking about. Um, but they are quite large as you can see. And I think it's just going to look really, really nice in a vase. It's kind of like branches with greenery. So I'm really, really happy with that. I will link it in the description box. I cannot remember the price. Let me quickly look. What are we working on today? So I feel like when I made these sconces a little more gold, they still weren't the kind of gold look I was looking for. They're gold, but I feel like in person, they look like they're painted gold rather than actual gold, if that makes any sense. So because I got those new rub and buffs, I decided we're gonna give this a try. I think that the original color of the sconce I used was antique gold, but now I've got Grecian gold and European gold and going to use this makeup brush that's always going to be used for rub and buff now so don't worry um and I'm going to try and make these sconces look a little bit better so I'm going to take a before photo and then we'll do an after photo so we can see if I improved them or not I think it looks better I mean it's hard to tell because that sconce is in the light I think it looks better Let's go up close to this one, which again is right beside the window. I think it has more dimension now, to be honest. 
Also, I think that my favorite color is the European gold. It's darker, whereas the Grecian gold is very bright. I'm trying to show you a color comparison. So the very bottom of this, you can see it's a little bit darker because I just added the European gold, whereas the top and the rest of it is the antique gold. It's really hard to tell unless you're here in person, but I am going to finish putting the antique gold on this one. I'm just soaking in this really cute moment with Finny. He is like not a cuddly cat and when we got a second cat I was really hoping that that was what I was getting. Um, but I am on the third floor and I just did a workout on the treadmill and decided I would sit down, um, kind of look at the room after I finished walking on the treadmill. And he was sleeping on the arm, and so I pulled him in, and he's been sleeping here for 10 minutes. But anyways, I, I don't know what I want to do up here, and it's so frustrating. I just don't know what the answer is. So I think the way that this is laid out is, like, the only way that it can be um, with the sofa that I'm sitting on under the angled part. Because I think if you had the sofa on that wall, it would mess with where the treadmill is, and the treadmill has that angled wall. Um, luckily we're not very tall, so we don't ever hit our heads on that, but someone taller definitely would. And this over here is a door that will eventually be out to a kind of deck. So I think the layout has to stay, but that window into the stairwell, I don't know what to do with. Um, it does let quite a, a lot of light down into the stairs, which... I'm okay with covering. I think it has to be covered. I don't think there's another solution. But also, if I cover it and put a TV there, that means that the TV could never be wall-mounted. Um, so it would need to sit on a media unit. Okay, fine. But I feel like the media unit should be centered on this wall. So do you then take the door off its hinges? Um, also, there's a vent down there, so there's just a whole situation going on. I decided to restuff the back cushions of the sofa. So inside of these IKEA cushions are like these filler ones, but I find the casing of the filler to be kind of crinkly and uncomfortable. Um, I'm sure it protects from like spills or I don't know, but we decided what we were going to try is removing the stuffing and also putting a little bit of down or down alternative in the back so i didn't touch these ones but these ones are now filled less because they were really stuffed before and i think it was less comfortable because of that and then so this one has down in it as well as the original stuffing and i didn't put all the stuffing back you can see there's like one section that didn't get filled and then these corner ones, I didn't put the down, and you can tell how lumpy they look in comparison to the down. So that has down, that does not. I wanted to give an update on the back cushions. So we find them 100% more comfortable. However, because that casing isn't in here and I added some down, there's all these feathers poking through. So that is not ideal. I think I'm going to have to put that inner case in and then put all this stuffing back in but I've still removed some of the original stuffing that was in here and that was making them feel very stiff and like overstuffed so I think overall the down and less stuffing has helped quite a bit and I just thought I would mention that in case you have a sofa that you'd like to make a little more comfortable I still left these ones alone it's just the back cushions that make a world of difference now that they're softer I was trying to take pictures of the banquette, and this is what happened. <laughs> That's kind of awkward, hey buddy? Do you regret? Do you regret coming in here? It's Saturday, and honestly, I always find the beginning of the year very, very challenging. I don't know why. I think it's mostly because it's just dark and dull, and it's such like a come down from Christmas time, but I just find it challenging. So I feel like I just didn't do much this week. Um, so it's Saturday and I need to get stuff done. I especially need to just work on the bedroom. So I'm gonna strip the bed, do the laundry. We're gonna organize the closet situation. There's just a big pile of stuff. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna go through all of this, the closet over here, um, the dresser, see if there's things that I need to donate. Also just organize. Um, this TV has been working okay up here with the extender, so I wanna figure out a better solution. I just feel like the TV is a little too small for that wall. So I'm wondering if like I put a piece of art above it or make like a, I don't know, gallery wall sort of thing. So I want to figure that out. Um, plus, let me show you. Because we live in a really old house, um, there's always been like cracks in the walls in various places. So the other day, I patched a little crack that went all the way down and there are some up there. I mean, this looks pretty scary to you guys probably, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just like that is molding that is over a hundred years old. So it's just got little cracks. So basically I was going around and filling them, um, sanding them, and then hopefully just do a little touch up paint. So that is what I'm kind of hoping to do. We never painted this room, but I'm pretty positive that it's white dove. Um, or I can use that little device that Chris got me to just double check. So I'm hoping to patch some of that up, paint over it so that it looks a little better. It already looks better than it was. If you guys remember ages ago when we moved in, the bookcase that was in the dining room was on this wall. So you can kind of see the outline of where that was. So that's got to be addressed at some point. I did my best when we moved in, but I didn't know what I was doing. So I think if I took the sander to this, I could fix that a bit better. Honestly, it's not super noticeable unless you're up close, but I'd love to fix that. Um, I need to tidy up this nightstand situation. These curtains need to be steamed. And then this window is a little bit higher. So um, I ordered another panel and I'm just going to extend it. I know it's not ideal, but that's just the way it is. Also, you can see there's more cracking here. So all of this, I just wanted to see if I can patch up and make it look better. This is just old house things, just the way it is. So I'm hoping to do that. So yeah, I'm just wanting to focus on the bedroom because um, you can see it's just a disaster. I also want to figure out this wall. I think maybe I'd like to shift this over a little bit, put a full length mirror here and then put something above it. So anyways, that is the plan just to get it sorted out and then we can move on to other things next week. I've been kind of scheming about the bathroom and things like that. much more organized i changed some things up i originally had like work pants up there and i haven't needed those in two years so i'm gonna put them away um i mean i don't need that stuff that's there that's like fall clothing but still better i culled my sweatshirts i switched this up so this um now has like long sleeves and a few short sleeves i didn't do much to my sweaters i just straightened them a little tiny bit um and then I switched out one of these drawers which had just pajamas to now have like kind of tank tops um, because I wear those the most. So it's feeling a lot more organized in here now uh, and I just have to sort out all the stuff that I am not going to keep. bedroom is looking pretty good last night after I finished organizing I just felt like the room looked more complete I do and I do like this chair being here maybe that's not the perfect solution long term but I'm liking it I brought 
the mirror back from the haul. Ideally, I'd like something a little bit skinnier, and I think I'd like one of those gold arch ones. Um, but I think that works for now. And um, the bed is looking good. Obviously, the piece of art that is now in the kitchen isn't perfect, and I need to still clean and organize that nightstand um, and then put up some pictures. And I didn't get to fixing or steaming the curtains or fixing the walls. So more projects for later in the week, but I'm feeling really good about the organization. Um, and I did organize this closet a little bit. Ages ago, if you remember, I painted this and put it in these shelves. Um, and then when I did that, I also bought this little plug-in chandelier. But I couldn't find the light bulb that fit it, so it's just been sitting in my closet for forever. But I'd really like to hang this up there and put the switch kind of lower down so that it's easy to turn on. And then I bought these and I never did anything with them. I don't know that they're great either, but you can see the original floor in here. So I have bought these sticky tiles that I considered putting down and again, didn't do anything with them. So need to decide on that. But anyways, I organized this a little bit. I took out a ton of things that I just wasn't using. I had a lot of work clothes in here and other tops that I'm just not wearing. So for the most part, I put them in here. I wanna get one of those like organization systems that people use where you put them in like little, I don't know, holes, cubby things. Um, and I put all my sweaters towards the front and then all of my dresses are further back. Um, and these are just like hanging sweaters. So pretty funny when you think about the fact I've got a lot of sweaters in here and then a million more in the closet. Let's not count, but I think this is working. So maybe later today I'll try and mount the chandelier and hopefully I now have a bulb that will work. But anyways, this is working pretty well for us. I still haven't figured out this situation and the TV is giving me problems again. So I think it's actually to do with the internet provider. So I might give them a call tomorrow, which is not my favorite activity in the world. And I don't think it's anyone's favorite activity. So. Anyways, since I showed myself making the bed as part of my organization and cleaning, I thought I would tell you how much we are loving the tuck bedding. It looks super wrinkly because I didn't get it out of the dryer in time and I haven't steamed it. Maybe I should have, but anyways, um, we have been loving it. I think for the first three or four nights when we first got it, Chris kept saying how much he loved the duvet cover because it's so soft and I really like having the striped fitted sheet and two pillows. I just think it adds a, like a little bit more like depth and texture to it. So really, really loving that. Um, we actually have other queen sheet sets and rather than put that on, I specifically washed this one and put it back on so that we could use it again. Uh, so yeah, we've been loving that. If you're wondering why the cat bed is there, it's because Finney has been sleeping there, which is kind of funny and cute, but means that we have more leg space on the bed. And we are hoping that with this new chair being here, that one of them will sleep there as well. I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, mostly because I have to get more stuff done today. Lots of laundry. These are muddy little footprints because Finn escaped into the backyard when we were unloading our groceries. Um, but I hope you have an amazing week. I'm hoping to pick up some supplies soon to start either the bathroom, partially, or the upstairs guest bedroom. So stay tuned for those. Hopefully um, some fun things coming up very soon. It's just taking me a little while to figure out what I want to do and finalize things um, because I find if I just plan it as I go, it's number one, harder to get things really quickly. And number two, then like on here in social media, like Instagram, people lose interest if you take too long to do it, which is exactly what happened with the powder room. So that's why I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row before I start. Anyways, have an amazing week. I hope you're all having a great start to the new year and I will see you next weekend.